guys, so today was a really lazy day for me. I slept in late and then John and I watched Cabin in the Woods on the couch together, which the movie was okay, but we both thought it was gonna be a lot better because everyone was telling us that we needed to see it. But I don't know, it was so-so, it was watchable, but it wasn't like amazing, we didn't think. Whew. So I just been super tired all day today. I changed up my workout routine because my regular workout routine, which is running every day, just wasn't doing anything for me anymore. I think I hit a plateau. It just didn't feel like work. So I started hiking up mountains and my legs just got super sore. I had been doing it for the past couple days and ouch, my legs just didn't want to move today. So I decided to relax and let my legs rest so that I can start working out again tomorrow. Woohoo! It's almost five o'clock now, which I know is kind of late, but I just decided to turn on the camera and start vlogging now. So hey, spend the rest of the day with us, huh? So the grocery store, our grocery store is going out of business, which is kind of a bummer. We've been coming here for like three years and people remembered us and stuff, but well, now they're closing. Free mouthwash. Free mouthwash? Yep, in the car right there. <laughs> right there. Sweet. Anyway, they're having a huge going out of business sale, so we decided to come check out and see if maybe we can get some cheap pots and pans or something. Lots of booze is on sale. It's our lucky day. Ha -ha. <laughs> Anyone ever tried this skinny girl stuff? I really want to. Some sale pizzas. Frozen pizzas, you want a frozen pizza? No, I'm good. I guess we'll have to get drink mixer somewhere else. Jeez, this is where <laughs> all the soda was. <laughs> all gone. The shelves are so empty. Guess no one likes Sprite. John just bought so much tuna. Look how much tuna that is. Don't judge me. I like the way it smells. <laughs> oh no, well I mean it lasts until 2015 and it's on sale so I eat it every day for lunch. Yeah, that makes sense if it lasts that long. Plus I can put it in my apocalypse box, which is my box in case the world ends so that we have food and we won't starve to death while the zombies are running around everywhere. Yeah. Tuna's a good thing not to starve to death on. I know. Yeah, and we can go. feed it to our pets. Yep. Or I could feed it to you. No! But we should have canned meat in my panic box so that the animals can eat, because I'm going to keep my pets alive too. Well, crap. People were already thinking what I was thinking. I wanted to buy pots and pans and stuff because I figured they'd be so on sale. And they're all gone. They're totally out of pots and pans. Grrr! Stupid video. people. Is that for Christmas? Festive moments. Festive moments? Yeah, we go through so many air fresheners. As you guys can imagine, we have a lot of animals in the house. And I really like a yummy smelling house. But luckily, air fresheners are 50% off. Aha! I'm like a bargain lady right now. <laughs> So we just stocked up on a ton of air fresheners. Sweet, bath salts are on sale. I'm gonna get these because I wanna turn into a zombie. Rah! Okay, so, whoops, there went the cat litter. Just spent like $300 on random stuff. <laughs> but we saved 100 at least. Yep. I had to stop myself for going a little too crazy with the sale. I was like, ooh, tampons on sale? Maybe I should stock up on tampons. But then I thought, that would be kind of really weird. So I didn't do it. But John was the one that wanted to spend that much money. I was like, uh, we don't need that much stuff. So I told him he better not give me crap about wanting to buy my Halloween costume. So I'm gonna buy my Halloween costume pretty soon here. But since John no bought, Halloween what? No Halloween costume. Yes. No. You said no crap. It's just, okay, no, <laughs> just no. No crap. I get my Halloween costume. John doesn't need a Halloween costume. John bought so much tuna, he could just make a tuna dress and pretend he's Lady Gaga. All right, so we're getting pumpkins, soda, and milk from Target because they didn't have it at the grocery store and they ran all out. So I'm gonna go find the pumpkins and then go back to the grocery store aisle. And Nikki's getting a cookie and Starbucks. Pumpkin spice lattes are the greatest thing that I've ever tasted. It's the only coffee drink that I drink. Okay, so here are the pumpkins. Can I help you? Alright, so I want a pumpkin that's just gonna sit up. As long as it sits, I'm happy. And I'll get Nikki this one. Whoa, Ooh, hey. you found pumpkins? Fancy seeing you here. No? I'm it's happy. Not, not, not my card. Here's your pumpkin spice latte. I got her. It says it's not yours though. It's not mine, it's yours. It does say Nikki on it. I got a Rice Krispie bar. I love Rice Krispie bars. Well, since we're at Target and I have all the stuff for my Apocalypse Panic Box, I accept I don't have an actual box. 
So. In a cupboard. No, okay. You don't even understand. I have a backpack. It doesn't matter. Yeah, backpack. Like a backpack, backpack, no, or backpack. No, it's not enough like room. a huge backpack. I want to have a box, like a huge plastic box full of canned food and stuff and a first aid kit in case we need to throw it in the car really quick. Your ba John's backpack isn't going to be big enough. No, so I'm going to go find... A backpack. It doesn't... For like going through the mountains kind of backpack. Okay, hey, it's still not going to be big enough. It is big enough. It's huge. It's one of the biggest ones they make. It's the biggest backpack that they make. I'm trying to pick out a box. No, he's leaving. He keeps saying, you don't need to get a box. You don't need to get a box. I have a backpack. But he doesn't understand. I do need to get a box because I call it a panic box. A panic bag doesn't have the same ring. I need a panic box, not a panic bag. Who's gonna be, who's gonna take a panic bag seriously? Yay, I got my panic box. And I got purple for panic. Bling bling. Got oh. my pumpkin carving set like a pro. I am so proud of him for picking out pumpkins without e me even telling him to. I'm really excited to carve pumpkins. I'm so proud of you. You know how to record without even, I don't even have to tell you. We'll get you your set too. That's for babies. Yep. Well, for you. I want to use the big kid pumpkin Look kit. at the tiny little handles. It'll be so cute. The tiny little hands. You sure like those coffees, huh? It's the only thing I buy from Starbucks. The pumpkin spice latte. It's only like three months. Funny story, I got one of these once and I didn't know it was seasonal and they ran out and then they ran out and I kind of flipped out on the lady. It's like, you know, you should really tell people that you sell this stuff and it sells out because I'm addicted. And you started crying? No. I don't drink coffee because I want to be tall when I grow up and I coffee stunts your growth. All right, just got back and unloaded. Now we got to put all this crap away. Look at it. John's already going because he wants to watch football. Isn't he a nice man? Look how he puts stuff away. Good boy. I'm gonna get in there and help in a second, but I wanted to say something. You know what I noticed when I was at the grocery store? My hot butt. Besides your hot butt. Count Chocula isn't scary at all. I thought oh, Count- on Sesame Street. No, that's the Count. Count Chocula is the on Sesame Street. Are you kidding? No. Okay. <laughs> but I thought Count Chocula had fangs, but no, Count Chocula looks like a rabbit. He doesn't even look like a vampire. I mean, Benicula is scarier than Count Chocula. Do you remember Benicula? No. Benicula, he was like a rabbit vampire. Oh my gosh. What? I'm a tuna stacking world champion. <laughs> Ooh, look, I bought this for Emma. It has bubblegum girl cigars in there because my friend Emma's pregnant and I have to throw her a baby shower in the next couple months. Tonight we're having a pumpkin carving party. I invited Nate from Nate's Vlogs over here, except we only bought two pumpkins, so I told him it was BYOP, bring your own pumpkin, and now he's here and we're about to carve some pumpkins. Awesome! Pumpkins, bitch! I started to talk like Oprah in vlogs more and more now. Awesome! You just want a new car! So Nate's drawing a middle finger on his pumpkin because he wants to flip off little kids on Halloween. Yeah, tell them to go fuck off and get their own candy. That's messed up. So we have to clear out all of this stuff. I carved off the top with a little knife. I'm going to build like a little raven thing. Everyone says it's going to suck, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, then I'm going to clean this out. Okay. And we're going to cook the pumpkin seeds. It's going to be a blast, right Thor? I'm having carver's block. Is that a thing? Like, I have no idea what I'm gonna make. I know, it's so sad. Okay, I guess I'll just gut it first and then I'll try to figure it out later. Yeah, getting it done, cleaning out the inside of a pumpkin. I have a lot of experience with this motion on your home. Hi! I'm making my top like all zigzaggy just because I just want it to be a fun top. Ooh. Oh, you did really good, Nikki. I did yeah. so good. You're good, you're good. Uh -huh. How the hell are you gonna fit your hand in there? I have small hands. Whoop, see, they fit. Ew, pumpkin guts, yucky, yucky, pumpkin guts. Ew, ew, pumpkin butts, yucky, Come yucky, on. yuck. Don't throw them all over the place, don't really. I was making up a song okay. and I was getting into it. Nate, you have a short, chubby pumpkin, and John and I have tall, skinny pumpkins. Sorry that my pumpkin doesn't fit in with Cosmo Crowd and it's not a bulimic supermodel like yours. <laughs> my pumpkin is beautiful just the way it is. Finish my pumpkin first. 
So yeah. fuck everybody else. <laughs> Nate screams first. <laughs> so that's his. He just has to stick a candle in there. John's is cool too. It's got a raven. Oh my gosh, what happened to your gravestone? It fell off, so I'm gonna put it back on with toothpicks. Yeah, I'm like, geez, everyone is finishing up their pumpkin, and I just finished getting all the guts out. But that's a pretty star shape, though. It's really pretty. The top is pretty, thank Not you. first. You <laughs> I'll to, be last. Yeah, you don't have to do anything after the star shape. <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna carve, but I couldn't figure out what I was gonna carve, so I was like concentrating really hard on getting all the ooey gooey guts out of my pumpkin. But oh I figured out that I want to try to make Jack Skellington because Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favorite movies ever. Do you want to use the bigger knife? Well, my lines are kind of small. I'm scared I'll screw up way more if I use the big knife. Mm. As soon as it's Nikki done, we'll light all three of them up, put them all on camera, and then we'll party and eat candy. candy. We don't have candy. <laughs> we have light. We don't have candy. Here's Jack. We'll light him up. His jaw broke off here. It got a little too skinny. But you know what? He's a skeleton, so maybe he broke his jaw. He'd be a little more feeble, right? Because he's not drinking milk anymore. No, he, it would just run right through his ribs. It would fall onto the ground. No, he's very... He takes a lot of vitamin D and vitamin... It and would calcium. fall out. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's be scientific about this. If a skeleton was drinking milk, it would run right out through his ribs, and he couldn't take vitamins or anything. So... He would get osteoporosis and his jaw could break really easily. All right, here are all our pumpkins in all their glory. Your raven looks really cool from back here. Yeah. Nevermore! <clears throat> and yours is just offensive, Nate. Although none of us may be the best pumpkin carvers in the world. What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bold statement. <laughs> We had a lot of fun making them either way. Well, maybe we'll carve some more pumpkins before Halloween actually happens. But I'm going to wrap up this vlog. We're going to hang out around the house for a while. But always remember, guys, that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.